Oh, come on, Guido, where are you at, man? You know, you would have thought if we were fighting an interdimensional corrupt version of yourself, a corrupt clone of yourself, that you'd at least speed things up a bit. Come on, dude, I'm getting hungry. I've been down here for about a week. It's not particularly healthy being down here by yourself, you know, Guido. Well, yeah, I have been getting my exercise. I've been doing a couple of jogs back and forth into the everlasting void. I've also been drinking well. I've been drinking, you know, my own, um, <clears throat> Wee oui, wee. Oui. Oh jeez, I'm regretting saying that already. Look, Guida, if you're up there and you haven't run off, just get. Me. Out. Whoa. Ah. Oh, ah, oh, okay, hands. Yep, head. Okay, looking good. Guida, Guida, I made it, it's me. It's Steve. Whoa. Dude, what the heck happened to this place? This is apocalyptic. There are people screaming in the background. There's, I'm pretty sure I could smell fire. Dude, this place has completely been taken over by the corrupt Morty, the corrupt version of of me. Jeez, this is the worst position we have ever been in. There is an exact replica of me out there with my brains, my handsome good looks, and... Okay, okay, Guido, whatever you say. And my killer instincts. Imagine all of those traits, but except they're evil. This is a recipe for disaster, Guido. And I'm not gonna lie, dude. It feels like we're already too late, considering what's going on out of that door right now. Okay, think, Steve, think. First of all, we need to realize, what the heck's going on here? I mean, we've been away for quite some time, so there must be some way we can, I don't know, gather some information on what's happening here, Guido. Oh, yeah, good idea, good idea. Okay, let's see here, dude. Let's go in here. Ah, here's the radio. So if we can just try tune this into the right frequency here, we should be able to hear... Yep, there's some kind of news report. Okay, man, let's grab some food. Uh, just ignore that. Let's grab some food and let's listen out to what's happening here. Mm, okay, all right. If anyone is receiving this message, then it's already too late. The world has been taken over by the corrupt Morty. He has laid waste to this neighborhood. People are scared, people are dying, and worst of all, he hasn't returned his library books for about a month. He's, he's really, he's quite a jerk. I just wish there was a way for us to turn back time. I miss my family. I miss my friends. Everyone's gone. I just wish I could see their smiling faces one last time. Uh, what was that noise? Oh my gosh, no! No! Whoa! Oh jeez, Guida. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it looks like this world has been taken over by Corrupt Morty. It's chaos, dude, okay? This guy is not returning his library books, but he's also murdering people left, right, and center. And to be honest with you, Guida, we're probably next. They say your worst enemy is yourself, and I'm the only one that can stop this guy, sir. We need to come up with a plan. We need somewhere to go back and stop this before it all happens, okay? Now think, there must be something we can do here, something that we can do which will, I don't know, take us back, make sure that we're taking out Corrupt Morty before any of this happens. Uh, I'll get rid of that. Oh. Ah, Guido, what a, what a stupid idea. First of all, it'd be a suicide mission, okay? We'd be going back and we'd be altering the timeline, which means whatever little thing we do, if I, if I threw this can, that could affect an entire timeline ahead of us. It's the first rule of time travel. If you're gonna go back in time, alter nothing, because that could change the future drastically. Which I guess, yeah, which I guess is what we want, so, um, yeah, we should probably just go with that idea. I mean, I've not got any better ideas. Okay, sir, easy task up ahead. All we have to do is, uh, build a time machine. Oh, uh, yeah, Guida, it's totally simple, okay? I'm sure there's thousands of wiki-how articles on how to build a time machine. Yeah, this is no big deal. We can totally do this. Not. <sighs> but I guess we have to try. I guess we have to try or else the fit of this world is, well, it's doomed. Not like it's not already, so, uh, I guess what I'm saying is that it can't get any worse from here, so we may as well give it a shot. Send me your songs of tomorrow I'm dying to know it all Stories of joy and of sorrow I'm dying to know Okay, Guido, that is the time machine completed here. It's quite small. It's a lot more compact than I was thinking. 
Yeah, dude. Well, you know, it's got to be portable so we can carry it around and... Oh, my gosh. What is that noise? Oh, my gosh, dude. I think... I think Corrupt Morty is here, dude. What do we do? Oh, yeah, maybe. Um, oh, geez, there's no space in there. They say an apple a day keeps the doctor away, but what about the Corrupt Morty away? That's what I want. Okay, we need to get the heck out of here right now. Um, think, Steve, think. Uh, could we fit in here? Probably not. Uh, okay, Guido, I've got no choice. Here we go. Ugh. Oh, dude, we made it. We made it to the microverse. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, at least we're not gonna die. But we are here now. In this miniaturized version of our very own Rick and Morty dimension. Now, Guida, it's actually a blessing in disguise that we're here. In case you didn't realize, we actually have no power for that time machine there, which is kind of an issue. So unless you're willing to sacrifice your own body to you power up the time machine... No, I thought not. Okay, look, I that, that never crossed my mind, okay? I, I would never do that to you. Yet. Now, instead, we're going to have to power our own battery for use with the time machine here. And we might as well do it while Corrupt Morty is, I don't know, surveying the outside of our house, preparing his dinner plate for when he eats us. Look, I don't like to think about what that twisted guy is doing. So instead, we are going to use this very important battery here. Oh, yeah, it is very important. I don't know why I'm throwing it around like that. To power up this time machine. So all we have to do is get this thing going and kick this off. Okay, this is always stressful. Here we go. So all we have to do is power up this microverse here, which instead will be put into our battery. We just need to focus here and make sure we're keeping track of all of these different uh, pink colors here because those are the ones we're going to have to activate. So we bring this up here bring this across. Okay, we just got to think that the lives of thousands and thousands of residents of this dimension is depending on us. Sir, so, no pressure. Uh, we can do this. Just keep moving. Keeping agile. That's always the... Oh, jeez. That's always the thing we've got to aim for here. Keeping agile. Keeping keeping moving, never slowing down, and making sure we're getting all these right combinations here. This is good. This is perfect. This is going really well so far, I think. I actually think this is going rather well. If things would stop yelling at me... Uh-oh. 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 There we go. Okay. Okay. Everyone stay calm. Everyone stay calm. We're all right. We're all right. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Everything seems to be breaking apart. As soon as you lose the floor, you will lose your sanity. And we did it. Okay. And that puts the little microverse into here, which means... Yes, we have a fully charged battery. Yeah, what do you think about that, Corrupt Morty? You jerk. Oh, yeah, you're right, Guido. I probably shouldn't provoke him. Okay, we're going to get out there. And we're going to make sure we're powering up this uh, time machine here. Okay, I don't think... I don't think that guy's here, so I guess we kind of just jam this in here. Okay, we have to be careful. This is a piece of high-tech equipment here. We don't want to break anything. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll just grab this and... Uh, ow! 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 Ah, oh, God, that hurts. Um, Guido, I think... I think we made it. Are you... Wait, Guido? Okay. Looks like I'm here alone. Oh my gosh, look! That's him! Corrupt Morty! Oi! You! Do you remember me? I'm... You. Um, you killed my best friend, Meeseeks. You locked his birth in a prison. Forced him to off himself to get out of your nightmare. Well, I tell you what, that ends now. I know that by destroying you, this could set a chain of events in motion, which means that I could destroy the future completely. Lives could be ruined, futures could be destroyed, but you know what? I think it's going to be worth it, so I'll tell you what, say goodbye. <sighs> ah, ah, jeez, ah, Guida, Guida, are you with me? Dude, oh my gosh, ah, ouch, 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 I went back in time, okay, it worked, the time machine worked. I went backwards in time, uh, before Corrupt Morty had a chance to commit these terrible crimes, okay, and I, well, I sorted our problem. Let's just say that I took a gun, and I shot him in the face. Okay, yeah, that was quite a literal analogy there, but... No, dude, no, no, nothing's gonna happen, okay, do not worry. Yeah, our timeline may feature some... Uh, fractures, fluctuations, it may have been shattered a little bit, everything may be a little bit askew right now, but still, we managed to take out Corrupt Morty, and for the time being, everything is a okay. Oh, 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 yeah, apart from that, oh, jeez. So, Guido, I think there's only one last thing to say for today's adventure. I had a pretty good time. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I will never make a joke like that again. Look, let's just eat some donuts, chill out, play some video games, and uh, wait for the next adventure. So thanks for tuning in, guys. This means Steve, that's been Guido. This has been another installment of the Rick and Morty Dimension. Checkpoint complete. Bye, guys.